Hey, it's Shellcase and Kid, and I'm back. Not back metal detecting, I'm back making videos. I've been metal detecting the whole time. Um, thought I'd give it another shot, but I'm going to do it on a less um, robust timeline. And this week, I checked out a couple local parks and put together a pretty good video, so check it out. I just found this little lead figurine. Looks like he could be a cowboy, I'm thinking. I don't know. Could be military, I don't know. It looks like... Uh, it's the first one I ever dug of these, and it was coming up really low. It was coming up as a 53. Wish I could find the whole thing. That would be cool. There's a beautiful sight. Silver dime. Ooh, it's a mercury dime, too. I should spray it off. Yeah, that's an awesome feeling. Mercury dime. I just dug for about 20 minutes, took that rock out, took this rock out, and look what I found. That is an intact salt shaker, and it's embossed, like some green. That's the same thing. Oh, here we go. Onion salt, so it's a spice rack kind of thing. Hey, just below this big rock here, I have a coin that's only about two inches deep. Look at that nickel. Come on, be a buffalo. Whoa. It might be a V nickel. It is, it's a V nickel. That's insanity. How about that V nickel? Looks like it was shot by a bullet. Cause it's like it's got a lump in it. That is bananas. Awesome. Looks like 1900. Okay. Looks like I have a Zippo lighter here. Not bad shape. have initials on them. Maybe advertising or something. Oh, here's something. Oh, I think it just says Zippo on the bottom. I think it's a Zenith, which is a TV company. It was a TV company. Ooh, almost opens up, but doesn't quite. Okay, got a dog tag right there. Nope, it's 1959. So that's a dog tax tag. Now this is crazy. I have never dug one of these before today. So I dug that little half guy. Now I have another little lead figure. I can't believe it. This one's nearly full. Looks like he's just missing his gun. That is crazy. It looks like a World War I kind of guy with the uh, wraps around his legs. That is awesome. Another little lead figure, but definitely a different kind. Just came up with this little piece of um, jewelry or something. It's cleaning up pretty nice. I imagine it's silver, silver plate. It's like um, you know, 
looks like it broke or something. Right there. Oh, well, here's a crazy surface find. Look at the size of this shell casing. It's like as big as my hand. It's got to be a 50 caliber shell casing. Jeez. I've never dug anything quite like that. It's as long as it's as long as my fingers. It's got to be 50 caliber. Wow. Big round fired off in a park. This was coming up as an 85 signal, and I just flipped it out. So there's the hole, and it is fairly big. It looks like a metal of some sort. How oh, about that? That is pretty cool. Looks like some people running track. It looks like, I don't know, maybe like a girls track club or something. Huh. I'm about 20 feet away from my, where I found the other one, and I think I have another one of those track metals. I do. This one has the loop on it. It's the same metal. This one's in better shape. Looks like a bunch of people running, and then that looks like it has the back intact. Wow, that is nuts. Here's another one of those metals. I just found what I think is a coin. It's right there. It's really, really thin. But I guess it could be English if it's really thin. See a bust on it right there, facing right. Okay, it might be it's the size of like a large pen scent. Came up as a seventy nine, so that would also be signal that it's an English coin. Here's the first metal detecting roundup um, in quite some time here on the Shellcasing Kid channel. Start with a buckle, how appropriate. Uh, Mrs. Shellcasing Kid seems to think that this is a bracelet, maybe like a, ch a child's bracelet. Um, didn't get a video of it coming out of the ground. Here's the uh, the large caliber um, shell casing, probably 50 caliber. I don't know what's going on with the bottom of it. It looks like it had some stuff on it. Or I don't know, maybe it was made into something else. I, I, I don't know what's going on with that. A uh, two-part button, not old. I think that might be a real estate jacket button. Uh, four wheat cents. Uh, these are from the 40s. This one is from 1914. Next row is the Zenith lighter, and what's cool about this is, check it out. You're supposed to put your cigarette like right in the middle of that ring. It's also inscribed with the name Bobby on it. I don't know, it would be cool to get this working again. Um, the little lead figurines, I think this is a tin soldier. It's hollow on the inside. This one is a lead soldier, and it's a World War I kind of doughboy-ish um, lead soldier. So that's pretty cool. The only parts that are missing are like, you know, his gun or whatever he was holding over top of his head. Uh, this is a Delaware County dog tax tag from 1959. You have to look really hard to get the date from it. This is um, probably... A, uh, part of a set of scissors, um, real fancy, maybe like for like a fancy sewing kit or something. Here's the onion salt shaker complete. I was even able to get the top to come off of it and then I was able to 
get the top back into shape. Cool, cool find. Top row are the running metals. Don't know what's going on with them, but found them about 20 feet apart. This, I'm thinking, was an English coin at some point, because if you take a look at the coin book, it does match up really well with the size of a um, King Charles like half penny. But who's to say because you can't get any markings off of it anymore. When it came out of the ground I thought I saw a bust on it but I could be mistaken. A 1944 Mercury dime. Awesome find. And then the V-nickel from 1900 that looks like it was shot by a bullet. That side looks great but you can see the lump in it from where it was shot by the bullet. I think of all the finds my favorite is the little doughboy lead toy. That's that's the find of the week. Okay. I do have another video coming up soon so uh, just keep an eye out for it uh, if you want to. Sign up for notifications and then um, You'll be notified anytime I, I post a video. Um, planning to have more content in the future. Hey everyone, thanks for watching and always be looking down.